this uh, feature in SLS called a progressive quiz. So in this progressive, progressive quiz, rather than uh, getting student to watch the whole video and then later on then do the quiz, which in this case, uh, maybe there isn't any quiz, but it's just watching is, is very dry for the student. So one way you can do this is you can make a progressive quiz. To invoke a progressive quiz, click on the plus button here and then add progressive, choose it, then you, you can save it. I am not going to save it because I already made one. So uh, the one that I have made is something like this. So the progressive quiz actually starts like that. So once you edit it, you can click on the plus button and then it will allow you to select uh, more quizzes to add to the back. Lah. So the trick is um, I, <coughs> I actually, what I did was I actually start the resource already. So what I mean by start the resource is because uh, I may have this one, maybe ask student, this is uh, $1 coin, 10 cent, 20 cent. 50 cent and, and so on so it's all templates uh, it's all template of a word and a YouTube and then followed by a quiz so we can actually do this very quickly by uh, making sure that you're in the done stage then you come here you click on the this multiple choice detail make sure you start it then once you start it it becomes available for you to inject like a template uh, like a copy paste kind of a function which SRS uh, is it's like a copy and paste uh. So now let's say this is the, the quiz uh, and then let's say I have another example I want to add a new quiz I come to edit I click on the plus button so rather than selecting any of these uh, individual uh, component uh, component that you want to add individually and then slowly type in yourself there's actually a quick way which is add from existing uh, star resources then it automatically be the first resource because that was the last resource I add so it's a very quick way that you can do a, a quick copy and paste so it, it copies everything over and then now all I need to do is just come here and edit the values lah. okay so I'm going to delete it <coughs> going to delete it because I have already made all the necessary uh, parts so in this quiz let's say question number one the the student may be asked to watch a series of videos and then in the end it be brought to a question ready one two three start Name this coin. So name this coin. So what you need to do is you in order to select this video so that the student does targeted watching. So you click on the setting, then change the start and the end date lah, uh, end time. Okay, then the, the rest are quite explanatory. You can just explore yourself. So with this targeted watching of the video then the student will then be needed to answer the the quiz before uh, being allowed to progress to the next part and then you can also put in the recommended time lah, is to do get student to gauge the amount of time needed to to pace themselves in the lesson so then this is the other video can you name this coin so can you name this coin so then the student will look okay can I select the correct answer and then they'll be allowed to progress to the next video. Name this coin. Okay, then I will select the 20 cent as the correct answer. Name this coin. And, and so on. So this is a very quick tutorial to explain how you can actually make advantage of this progressive quiz to make a uh, video something like an add puzzle of sorts uh. so it allows the student to uh, watch the video targetedly and then answer the multiple choice of which then if they get it correct they'll be allowed to progress through the different uh, stages